In Advise and Consent, Alan Drury crafts a complex narrative that delves into the world of American politics, revealing the intricate dance of power, ambition, and moral dilemmas within the halls of government. The novel, a political drama set against the backdrop of a Senate confirmation hearing, examines the personal and political struggles that define the lives of its characters, particularly focusing on the appointment of a controversial Secretary of State nominee. The novel's core conflict arises from the nomination of a highly contentious figure, Robert Leffingwell, to the position of Secretary of State. This nomination sets off a series of events that test the integrity and principles of various senators. Drury's portrayal of these characters is nuanced, illustrating their personal motivations and the political pressures they face. The novel is not just a critique of the political process but also an exploration of the human dimensions behind political decisions. Drury's depiction of the Senate is both detailed and evocative, capturing the labyrinthine nature of political maneuvering in the frequent collision between public duty and private interest. The characters are crafted with depth and complexity, each embodying different facets of political life. Through these characters, the novel explores themes of loyalty, betrayal, and the ethical compromises inherent in the political arena. One of the key strengths of Advise and Consent is its ability to portray the internal conflicts of its characters. Senators in the story grapple with their own beliefs and ambitions, illustrating the personal sacrifices often made in the pursuit of political goals. The novel vividly depicts the strain between maintaining personal integrity and succumbing to the pressures of political expediency. The narrative structure is meticulously crafted, employing a blend of dialogue, personal reflection, and political strategy to build suspense and develop the storyline. Drury's use of detailed and realistic dialogue immerses readers in the political process, providing insights into the strategies and negotiations that define political life. The novel's pacing is deliberate, allowing for a thorough exploration of the ramifications of political decisions and the interpersonal dynamics among characters. The theme of political corruption is central to the novel, highlighted through the various schemes and backdoor deals that emerge as the confirmation process unfolds. Drury does not shy away from depicting the darker aspects of politics, including the manipulative tactics employed by individuals seeking to advance their own agendas. This portrayal serves as a commentary on the potential for moral compromise in the pursuit of power. Another significant aspect of the novel is its examination of public perception versus political reality. Drury explores how public opinion and media influence can impact political decisions, often complicating the process of governance. The characters' interactions with the press and their efforts to manage public perception add another layer of complexity to the narrative, reflecting the multifaceted nature of political leadership. Advise and Consent also delves into the personal lives of its characters, showing how their professional roles intersect with their private lives. The personal sacrifices and moral dilemmas faced by the characters serve to humanize them, making their political decisions and conflicts more relatable and compelling. This blending of personal and political spheres enriches the narrative, providing a fuller picture of the individuals behind the political masks. In conclusion, Alan Drury's Advise and Consent is a masterful exploration of American politics, offering a detailed and engaging portrayal of the complexities and challenges faced by those in power. Through its rich character development, intricate plot, and exploration of political and personal conflicts, the novel provides a compelling commentary on the nature of political life and the ethical dilemmas inherent in the pursuit of power. Drury's work remains a significant contribution to political literature, reflecting both the grandeur and the frailty of the political system.